welcome students hope you all are fit and fine and ready with your maths textbook notebook eraser and pencil so let's start our today's class students in today's class i will teach you new chapter and this chapter is very much interesting so let's start students look at this picture in this picture some children are playing cricket correct but students do you know how long that bat is how long that stump is what is the weight of that ball do you know no you don't know students dearly we clean our teeth right but do you know how long your toothbrush is what is the weight of your toothpaste do you know no you don't know these things and to know these things we measure right and when we measure something that action is called as a measurement so measurement is an action to measure something so our next chapter is measurement so in next chapter we will see and you will get all the answers of your questions like how long that bat is what is the weight of that ball how long your toothbrush is you can measure in this chapter so see our next chapter is measurement that is chapter number 10 measurement and in your maths textbook it is on page number 170 students measurement it is important in our day to day life why students sometimes you want to stitch new clothes new dresses for you that time what you will do yes you will go to the tailor and then what tailor will do tailor will measure your body right because he want to stitch clothes for you and when he will major the major your body when he will take measurement of your body according to that measurement he will stitch new dress for you correct so measurement it is important if if students you want to go somewhere else some other places that time you will measure the distance from your place to that place and according to the distance you will select the route of your transport that is mode of your transport right so measurement it is important in our day to day life and in this chapter we will learn how to measure the length weight and capacity so in this chapter we will learn measurement of length measurement of weight and measurement of capacity students if you want to measure your height what you will do yes you will take meter tape and using that meter tape you can easily find out your height right you can easily calculate you can easily measure your height but students in earlier time that time people used body parts to measure height or measure some things some length when when they want to measure some length that time they used uh, body parts so let's see how how they use body parts so first is hand span hand span what is hand span so this is a hand span the distance from the tip of your thumb to tip of your little finger this distance is called hand span okay so the distance between the tip of the smallest finger and the tip of the thumb when spread not like this when spread is called hand span when it is spread that time the tip of the smallest finger from this tip of the smallest finger to tip of the thumb like this way from here to here this distance is called hand span okay for example students you can see this water bottle 
yes and if i want to measure this water bottle using my hand span see i will measure like this from this thumb to this tip of this little finger see this like this way so it is one hand span correct so this bottle is about one hand span long yes and if i want to measure this book using hand span see so first i will measure if i wants to measure like this way so this is one hand span but if i will measure the height of this book see if i wants to measure this height of the book see this is one one hand span and this is half that is one and a half half hand span long this book this book is about one and a one and a half hand span long right like this way you can measure your maths textbook your maths notebook everything you can measure in your home okay next body part is palm what is palm do you know what is palm yes so palm is the under part of the hand between the fingers and the wrist means this distance between the fingers and the wrist this this distance is called palm okay palm so students using the palm we can also measure the things next body part is cubit what is cubit so cubit it is the distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger it's called cubit means from this elbow to the tip of this middle finger this distance is called cubit okay students see i have this keyboard you can see this keyboard okay now if i want to measure the height of this keyboard using cubit so i will i will measure like this from this elbow from this elbow to this middle finger see so so this keyboard is about 1 cubit long correct this keyboard is about 1 cubit long and like this way it is one hand span correct so like this way you can also measure the things which is available in your home using your body parts next part is arm length so what is arm length so it is very easy the measurement of an object using your arm is called arm length using your arm is called arm length next is pace what is pace so pace it is the uh, it is like a walking so it is the measurement of an object using steps is called pace means while you are walking how you are walking like that way that two two steps one step that complete one step of you are using your two foot two foot that that distance it's called steps so the measurement of an object using step is called pace you can see in this picture what is pace the normal walking is called pace next is digit or finger so digit or finger means like this way this is one finger long okay so one digit long so the measurement of an object using finger is called digit and digit or finger if i want to measure this sharpener using digit so see i can easily measure this is one digit long see this is one digit long and now this is two so this sharpener is about two digit long or two finger long okay so using your finger you can measure the things see so in earlier time people always used their body parts to measure the things when they want to measure something okay so now students sometimes what happen na we measure 
we major using our body parts but the distance or the answer is different why different because my hand is bigger than yours hand correct if you will major your math textbook maybe it is two hand span long it, it is about two hand span long but if i will major it is about one and a half hand span long why because my hand is my hand span is bigger than yours even when you will use your foot span for foot span also okay so for foot span also your foot is small smaller than my foot my foot is bigger right so when we will major these things using our body parts we will get different answer hence it is not uniform this measurement is not uniform okay so students now open your maths textbook page number 170 write today's date and this is your homework see here i will read this question tony the carpenter wants to make a toy car find the dimensions of the car and write them in the table given below the table is given here you can see and uh, a b c d a b c e f is written a b c d e f is written now according to that you have to identify how long that place is like a is about dash paper clips long so paper clips like um, in this size so it is a is about two two paper clip long you can measure you, uh, you have to measure using the paper clips okay next b is about dash digits long dash digits long it means you have to measure uh, using your finger so according to me if i will measure it is two digits long but if you will measure it is three digits long right because your answer and my answer will come different so this is your homework and you have to solve according to your according to you, uh, your body parts okay next c is about dash digits long again look at that c c you have to see this one is c right this is c so this c is about dash digits long according to me it is two digits long maybe according to you it is two and a half digits long okay the same is about d see here d is here you have to measure this d using eraser d is about dash eraser long you have eraser and according to uh, eraser keep your eraser there then make a paper paper uh, pencil marking then again keep from that pencil marking to place another place and check how long d is about but here also your friend's answer will come different and your answer will differ. Why? Because, because eraser size is also not uniform. Someone's eraser is long, someone's eraser is small. So according to the eraser, you will get different answer. Now E is about dash digits long. F is about dash digits long. Now you have to use your finger, digits, eraser, paper clips to measure these things and complete your homework. Okay? Is it easy? Yes, it is easy. So complete your homework. Now students, we will learn table of 15. So table of 15. See? And this table we will together we will see this table okay first i will say and afterwards you have to repeat after me and you will repeat with me only so first is 15 ones are 15 15 twos are 30 15 threes are 45 15 fours are 60 15 fives are 75 15 six are 90 15 sevens are 105, 15 eights are 120, 15 nines are 135, and 15 tens are 150. 
Now you will say with me. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, start. 15 ones are 15. 15 twos are 30. 15 threes are 45. 15 fours are 60. 15 fives are 75. 15 sixes are 90. 15 sevens are 105. 15 eights are 120. 15 nines are 135. 15 tens are 150. And you have to learn this table also. So you have to complete your homework and you have to learn table of 50. And I hope students you understand what is measurement and in earlier time how people use their body parts to measure the things. Okay. And in next class we will, we will learn how to measure the length. Okay.